what's going on guys um, welcome to Koraiwood and welcome to the first uh, Kotlin uh, language video all right so let's begin with uh, Kotlin and you guys might be wondering why there is a Kotlin Island Kotlin Island in St. Petersburg because the word Kotlin is an island in Russia near St. Petersburg so this is a one thing if you guys wondering why there is a name Kotlin and the language you guys want to learn is where it come from it came from the Kotlin Island in St. Petersburg all right so I'll tell you guys a little bit about the um, Kotlin what Kotlin is and why we learn Kotlin Kotlin lives inside this um, Android Studio so first we go you we introduce you guys to the uh, Kotlin language uh, what Kotlin language What's the structure of the Kotlin language uh, how we start with the Kotlin language and the first uh, few seconds of the video I already explained that the Kotlin is uh, island near St. Petersburg so that's out of the way now we coming towards this Android studio and about the Kotlin so the Kotlin language uh, targets uh, Java platform so it runs on the JVM Java Java virtual machine okay so so it's ex exactly the same like Groovy Scala or Jiton uh, or other other languages so Kotlin is from JetBrains uh, JetBrains is the company this is uh, the JetBrains they develop this um, uh, IDE uh, so they are uh, they develop some big uh, IDEs uh, like PyCharm uh, I think a lot of big companies use their uh, IDE some of them free some of them um, it's uh, community ones free but uh, commercial ones uh, which is very powerful uh, they are um, they cost you so but don't worry Android uh, Studio which the JetBrain developed and Google uh, collaboration with Google uh, is free so don't worry about this um, uh, Android uh, Studio used to be on um, uh, another IDE Eclipse yeah the name of the IDE was Eclipse I think it's still there it's open source Eclipse IDE this was um, the first um, uh, IDE for uh, Java for Android so this is Eclipse so you guys the Android studio used to live here inside this Eclipse but uh, used to be Eclipse for Java Eclipse for PHP Eclipse for uh, every other language and these people together with uh, Google like I said they um, developed this uh, IDE Android Studio and another IDE which is an IntelliJ IDEA is also IDE is similar to the, like this Android Studio but it's totally different but you guys can learn the Kotlin on to you can you can program with the Kotlin inside this uh, uh, Android Studio you can program and make a, make a cool apps but if you want to learn uh, Kotlin you guys need to download this download this uh, IntelliJ idea in your uh, Windows or Mac or Linux whatever but for that one because we said that uh, it targets the Java JVE JVM you guys need to install this Java JDK Java development kit all right so like I said that Kotlin is from JetBrains uh, and it, they creator of the um, IntelliJ, PyCharm, WebStorm, uh, ReSharper, and other uh, programs. All right, so they JetBrain in 2011 they uh, announced this Kotlin, and the Kotlin went to open source and under the Apache 2 license. So it means you guys can view the Kotlin, the Android Studio code, and the Kotlin as well, and. Uh, Google announced on 2017 that uh, uh, they support this um, uh, Kotlin on uh, Android platform. So officially, Google announced that they are uh, uh, supporting this um, Kotlin 
on their uh, uh, Android Studio. Why uh, Kotlin is, is in the um, Russian, uh, why the, the name? Because a lot of all the team of this IntelliJ idea lives there. All the developer, all the developers and all the big bosses of the uh, Kotlin uh, or IntelliJ idea lives in their uh, in uh, Kotlin Island in, in Russia. And if you guys wondering, Google's uh, Sergey Brin, he's also he's got a big uh, Russian background, so he he came from uh, Russia. So that's why the, there is a strong uh, link between the Google and um, uh, Android and uh, IntelliJ idea, which all the developers lives there at the Kotlin Island in uh, uh, Java in uh, Kotlin Island. All right, so as like uh, if you guys are wondering why uh, Java is Java because there is a, uh, there is a place ca uh, called uh, Java in um, in Indonesia, but the Java came from the coffee name, I think. Uh, that's why. All right, so we talk about a little bit about Kotlin. Uh, what Kotlin is? Kotlin is exactly like uh, Java is object oriented programming uh, with the classes. It's got interfaces. Uh, and it it's because it targets the JVM Java virtual machine it's exactly like um, Java but you guys very lucky because you guys once you guys learn this uh, Kotlin you guys can go to Scala which is uh, Apple Apple um, uh, Kotlin is uh, like a Python if you guys done a Python uh, a bit of Python and JavaScript uh, it's a bit of both so but with the Java, you guys, uh, JavaScript, you guys put a war. With the Kotlin, you guys can put also put a war. But Google says that you guys uh, should put a wall value instead of uh, war because war is a little bit of uh, temporary. So that's um, that's a little bit difference between JavaScript and Java. All right. So it's strongly typed like Java, and it behaves like a Java. It targets uh, uh, Java platforms, but you guys, is, there is not a lot of hee hee ha ha about this uh, Kotlin because uh, you guys might uh, hear very less about this uh, uh, this language called Kotlin. Okay, you guys, the least uh, I think I assume you guys learning this Kotlin because you heard that uh, if you guys wanna create this app inside the uh, Google. Uh, Android Studio, that's what you got there. You're right because uh, Kotlin is for uh, uh, Google uh, Android Studio. You guys can use Java, but Google recommends you guys learn this language so, and uh, start your apps inside this uh, uh, inside this uh, Android Studio. But there's a cool thing inside this Android Studio. You guys can convert your Kotlin uh, source code into Java source code or Java source code inside this Kotlin source code. So there is a uh, compatibility between the two languages because uh, they work on the uh, runs on Java virtual machine it's a functional machine it's got a lot of function and it's got a lot of um, uh, it can use Java libraries as well so you guys can uh, use a lot of Java libraries inside the Kotlin like uh, uh, Java utilities, a lot of uh, utilities, input, output, anything inside the Java, you can, you guys can use uh, yeah, inside the Kotlin as well. All right, so it's a Kotlin is the language to learn, is the language of the future, and uh, I think uh, one day you guys are gonna hear that the Google completely uh, finish other languages and uh, say if you wanna develop app for for Google for Android, you guys has to have to write with this um, um, Kotlin so because Java is Oracle and I think they're changing their license uh, they're making it stricter stricter their license so no one can use their license and if, if you guys come here I'm in uh, sorry this page oracle.com Java technologies Java JDK 16 I have uh, Java 9 on my system on this Windows 10 because I downloaded a couple of years ago, but looks like um, Java has announced on April 2016, 2019, um, a different license. So, okay, so as you guys can see, 
uh, that's a standard edition uh, you guys need to download JDK and how you guys gonna download just JDK uh, 